So wait to your omnis, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. In the last episode, we finished running our errands for the school and did our rehearsals, and now it's party time. The kids have to say, oh, they're just named Visitor now, okay. So I don't think there's anything important we really have to do with the festival, but we do want to stop by all of the food stalls. Pretty building, it is Genius Royal Academy after all. Oh, hello, Gilbert. Hey, finally a named NPC. Hello, Chloe. Have all your preparations been completed? Yep, we practiced hard, learned, sing uh, learned our, lives, our lines, and spent the afternoon waxing the hair off Joshua's face and arms. All that's left is the doing now. <laughs> One of these things is not like the others. I, I see. I look forward to seeing the uh, results of your efforts. It's been some time since I was last here, but I still love my old alma mater. I have many fond memories of this place. Also, Joshua doesn't even have facial hair. Alright, what are you sewing? Um, er... Would you like some candy? It's super delicious and better than popcorn. I was told to say that. Ah, uh, somebody's shy. So we have rainbow jelly beans and floral jelly, and we haven't learned either recipe. But well, we already have the jelly in our inventory, so let's get some jelly beans. It heals CP, which is always good. Another visitor. And popcorn. Hello ladies, how do you like some light fluffy popcorn? It's a healthier option than, say, candy. Do I detect a rivalry here? Holy popcorn. Oh, they'll go nicely with the boots. Heals 400 H HP and increases movement range. And over here. We have ice cream, it looks like. Low poly ice cream at that. Ice candy, coffee ice cream, orange ice cream, and apple ice cream. Well, we don't have the coffee or the orange. These honestly aren't that great of healing items, but recipe book completion and all. Recipe. So, that leaves this person. I'm great at science and biology, but I'm really a novice in the kitchen. I mean, there's some science to being in the kitchen and cooking, including chemistry. Oh well, I'll work on getting the basics at least. Luscious crepes. We already have the milk crepe. Don't have the royal crepe. Yeah, why does everything only heal like half our HP at this point? Is that all? Are those all the food stalls? I think so, but uh, let's see here. So we got ourselves some. Um, Popcorn, the epitome of crunchiness, a holy natural snack. I'm not really sure what they mean by holy in that case, because, like, popcorn doesn't have holes in it. Coffee ice cream with a bittersweet flavor more for adults. We'll treat, now we can create bean membrane with sweet herb infused cream. And a fancy sweet found in all colors, surprisingly nutritious. Nutritious jelly beans, eh? Well, whatever. This is here's the auditorium. That camera change going on stage is still kind of weird. So, let's see. Um, we can't go in the girls' dormitory. We already went in the auditorium. Might as well save the big building for last. And what about the clubhouse? Hehe, <laughs> I came here with Clem and the other kids. Oh, where have I seen her before? I believe she was with Colonel Richard in the Sky Bandit hideout. Ha, ah, the Colonel often spoke of coming to visit. He still has his hands full at the moment, though. I was not expecting to see her here. I'm sure he'll be free to drop by in a while. Hmm, 
things that the campus is so busy. Huh? Professor Alba, is that you? Well, Estelle and Joshua. This is a pleasant surprise. I trust you're doing well. Were you invited here for the festival? Sadly, no. I'm here on other business. I've come to investigate a new discovery within the Sapphiral Tower. I was hoping that the Academy could provide me with some useful materials. Hmm, what would have happened if we waited until after now to go to the, to the Sapphiral Tower? Wow, you're really dedicated. <laughs> well, I have to be. Research hasn't made me wealthy, so I'm fueled by pure enthusiasm. On a related note, the Academy's curriculum is divided into a few courses, isn't it? Will there be any exhibitions? Yes, although the three courses available to study here, only the Social Studies class will have an exhibition. Exhibition. Also missing comma. The students are displaying the results of an independent research project. I see. I recall my own days as a student. So, where is this research publication made? Where is this? Oh, okay. This must be your first time at the Academy, right? Huh, let's see. How to explain? Indeed, the campus is fairly littered with buildings. Not really, there are only five, six if you count the old schoolhouse. But, you know, RPG towns and all. If you'd like, we can just take you there. That would be helpful. I'd hate to spoil your fun here. Oh, that's fine, we're not doing anything major right now. Yeah, we already went to the food stalls. I see. Well, in that case, I would greatly, I'd greatly appreciate you showing me to the exhibition hall whenever you have time. I'll be waiting for you right here in the cafeteria. Let's see. So we already bought the genus lunch. We already know how to make vegetable sandwiches. But I think we're done here until we talk to Professor Alba again. Boys' dormitory is locked. Yeah, that just leaves the main building and getting back to the professor. Going to be in the dean's office. Ah, oh, thanks for everything you did yesterday. I don't really have anything I need to do. I'm just staying here in case I'm needed. Well, that's uh, well. I guess he hasn't needed to put in the effort. Academy personnel only, please. Joke's on you, we came in the back door. Public. Oh, not him again. <laughs> I agree say hate to say this once more. Please consider your words when among the public. Oh geez, Trails in the Sky predicted the 2016 election twelve years before it happened. Is the old fart even invited? Imagine he was. Not inviting him would have just been asking for trouble. Haunted houses this year? Too cliched, I guess. You have something you want to tell me? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, there are more people here than usual because it's a festival. Science. Turn the building up to nine. Yeah. I thought you. I thought you wanted to turn it up to eleven. I 
don't know what this is, but... <laughs> Orbital compatibility tester. Test. Why the heck not? Oh, I don't know. What does it say about Estelle? Or not get 7th, 11th, or 1186, Septian calendar. Wait, we're supposed to... These are two very active individuals. Today is the ideal, to, uh, ideal day to take on new challenges or foes together. It will take us each for each to suppress the impulse to force an opinion onto the other. Those who learn to respect each other's point of view, they will both grow more mature from the experience. I'm pretty sure I didn't know this was here before. Most importantly, they must, they must, they must each learn to consider the other's feelings. Okay, what if we try like... Oh, I don't know. Sherazard and Dorothy, maybe. Greatly attuned to one each other, huh? And their time spent together today should be very enjoyable. Are either of them even at the festival? Strong ties of love and comradeship to each other. Uh... I don't know what I was expecting, but... I thought it would be a little more interesting than that. Hey, Karna. Well, it's one bracer who's here. Hey, Karna. stuff? Well, it's a good thing I checked in here. Not that it matters, since we already know that recipe, and we already have one of those. Sad. You know, I feel like anyone who names their daughter Purity is just asking for trouble. Mr. Ratio, let me guess, he's a math teacher? everybody important and everyone who wasn't, so let's go pick up the professor. I certainly wish my own meals only cost this much. Oh, uh, really. <laughs> well, let's take into the social studies room. Oh, well, you certainly pulled out all the stops, haven't you? So many areas of interest from history to economics. Thank you so much. This looks like smashing fun. It is my pleasure to help, sir. Social studies is my major, so I hope you enjoy looking around. I've never been any good at this whole academics thing. No, really? <sighs> One of these days, you're really going to have to get over that. Being a bracer requires knowledge in many different areas of study. Well, I'm itching to start looking around, so if you'll excuse me. Thank you again for showing me the way here. Alright. 
this Chloe? Oh, hey, it's you. Oh, you're all here. Hey, Akatos, glad you could make it. Are you having fun? Yeah, it's awesome. I ate so much candy I puked. I told you not to be such a pig. <laughs> Is Matron Teresa with you? Yep, she's talking to those people over there. Here she is. Good afternoon, all. Matron Teresa. Good afternoon, Matron. Thank you very much for inviting us here today. The children and I have enjoyed it greatly. Hey, Miss Chloe. When's your play thingy supposed to start? We've all been looking forward to it. Star. I see. Well, you'll just have to wait. A, you'll have to wait just a little bit longer. Did you know that both Estelle and Joshua are going to be in the play with me? Really? That's going to be so cool. What part are you going to be playing, Mr. Joshua? Um. Well, how to put this? <laughs> you'll just have to wait and see, won't you, Heart? Oh, by the way, are you guys still staying in Minoria? Yes, through the continued goodwill of the innkeepers. That said, however... Hey guys, do you want to see the costumes that'll be used in the play? They're pretty dresses and suits of armor. Pretty dresses? Suits of armor? Ah, I guess I have your attention. I'll give you an exclusive sneak peek at them before the play even starts. Yay! I want to go too. I'll be backstage. Come when you're ready. Okay, now follow me. Convenient distraction while we talk about adult topics! Hey, is that a demonic duck of some sort? <laughs> Joshua is such a thoughtful boy. I didn't want to speak of this in front of the children. What do you mean? Yes, I've chosen to accept the mayor's offer. You will impose upon the Minorians no longer. I will tell the children today, after the festival. I, I see. That's sad, but I suppose you have no choice. I already forgot what the mayor's proposal was, to be honest. <laughs> Please don't look at me so. Grantsel is easily reachable by airship. Moreover, I can look for work while I am there. If I save enough Mira, I'll be able to rebuild the orphanage someday. Matron. Now then, let us find the children, shall we? Now I'd imagine that they're a bit much for Joshua to handle on his own. Whoa, this is so cool! I wonder if I could wear it. Not with how short you are. I wish I could try on a white dress. Well, well, you look like you're having fun. Huh? Where'd Joshua go? Mr. Joshua? He left after he brought us here. He said, wait here until the girls arrive. Hmm. Is something wrong? He eyes knows. Mr. Joshua went looking for the guy with silver hair. Silver hair? Yeah, he helped us get out of the fire before. His hair's all shiny and pretty. What? So he's been seen on campus? Uh-huh, just for a second, though. Miss Joshua sure was sure surprised. Polly, you dummy. Why didn't you come and tell any of us? Because I was eating a crepe. Estelle. I know. I'll be right back, matron. Yes, that's fine. Chloe, would you please go with her? Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. By your leave, matron. Hey, you're going too? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. I'll see you at the play. Yeah, it's gonna knock your socks off. Anyway, let's go find Joshua. I don't know who that guy with the silver hair is. But even without meeting him, he totally creeps me out. Just a moment, please. See? Summon Burb. 
I need to ask you something. Did you see where Joshua went? I don't think I'll ever get tired of that. Wait, is he headed to the old school building down the back road? Yes. Shall we? Yeah, it figures that that... that there'd be something else going on there. So do we still have any monsters in here to deal with? Uh, let's see, the roof was this way, I think? Oh, there we go. Strange, I could have sworn. But it couldn't be. Joshua! Hey, you two. You need to stop making us worry about you. I almost had a heart attack when I heard you went chasing after some guy with silver hair. Um, how did you know? Polly told us. I guess she saw you. Ah, she's a pretty sharp-eyed kid. I did follow a man matching that description out this way. But I guess I lost him. Oh my. He must have been pretty talented if he managed to give you the slip. Any idea who he was? I'm afraid not. I don't think it was our arsonist, though. I tailed him as long as I could. I see. By the way, why'd you run off by yourself? My thoughts exactly. You could have at least left us a message. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. Who said I was worried? I was just pointing out the importance of teamwork. <laughs> you're a terrible liar. Not five minutes ago, you were in a total panic. I, I was not. And hey, you were pretty concerned yourself. I, um... <laughs> thank you, both of you. Your attention, please. All play personnel, please report to the auditorium right away. Once again. All play personnel, please report to the auditorium right away. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's almost time, isn't it? Yes, we should get into costume. The play will start soon. Alright then, let's do this. Oh, what about that guy with the silver hair? Well, it's too late for him to have a part in the play. Hmm. I suppose that all we can do is let Karna know and warn her to keep an eye out. 